Read black books, read aloud. Get up early and beat the crowd. Read black books, read aloud. Hey, we might be proud. Read black books, read aloud. Get up early and beat the crowd. Read black books, read aloud. Presented by the Hurston Wright Foundation. I'm super glad that you're here. So thank you for joining. Okay. So my name is Dr. Tanita Ortega Kearney. Uh, my kiddos call me Dr. T for short. I'm a speech pathologist and a big part of my job is teaching foundational language skills to young learners. So I work in an elementary school. That's my passion. And I found that I was often targeting the same types of skills with kiddos. So I decided to create a book series to help parents work on these skills at home. So just maybe these kiddos would not even need to see me by the time they get to school at all. So book one in my series is this one right here, Lola Koala's Travel Adventures. It is a lift the flat board book. And so uh, we're going to dive right in. I'm going to switch my camera so that you guys can see that book a bit up close. And then when we're finished, I'll switch back so you can see my face. <laughs> okay, let's change here. All righty, here we go. And I'll do my best to reduce some of the effect of the glare from the overhead lights. So this book, the first book in this series, is targeting who, what, where, and yes, no questions. And Lola Koala is this globe-trying main character. She travels to a new destination in each story, and where she's traveled to is a mystery. So we have to use our good skills to answer questions and find clues to figure out where she has gone. All right, let's start reading. Lola Koala is an explorer. She loves to see and she loves to go. Lola is packing her bag to get ready. Where is she going? Soon we will know. Follow Lola's clues to guess. Answer her questions to learn more. If you do your very best, a great adventure is in store. Here's the tip that will surely help. It is also a phrase that you can sing. Simply remember who is a person, where is a place, and what is a thing. All right. Lola will need many things on her trip. Look in her bag. What do you spy? Lola wants to take everything with her. Can it all fit? Lola will try. All right, here's the first of our WH questions are who, what, where, and yes, no questions. The first is who packs for a trip? If you were paying attention, your answer should be Lola Koala. There she is. That was the right answer. Second question, what will Lola read? Let's see. She will read a book. This book is right here in her suitcase. That was a good answer if you had that one. Where is Lola's toothbrush? Four choices in her suitcase, at the store, under her bed, or on a chair. And the right answer is in the bag. It's right there. And the last, do you see a hat in Lola's bag? Let's check the bag. Is there a hat there? The answer is yes. And good for you. You've unlocked our first clue. The first clue is Lola is in a place with lots of sand. Lots of sand. That's a lot of options. I wonder where she's traveled. Let's keep reading and find out. Lola takes a plane to get there. Clouds and sky, the sight she sees. Once she lands, she's off and running, racing in the desert breeze. All right, second set of questions. Who sits next to Lola? Check our picture and see if we can find the answer. It's certainly not the pilot, and we're thankful for that. <laughs> the answer is a girl, this girl right there. What is Lola pointing to? Let's check our picture here. What is she pointing to? Looks like she is pointing to the clouds or the sky outside. 
Third question is our where question. Where did the plane land? Let's use our clues in the picture. I see some sand over here. So I'm thinking it's not the ocean, but it is the desert or a sandy place. Lots of sand. And now our yes, no question. Do you see snow where Lola is? Checking our page here, I see sand, but no snow. We're gonna go with no snow. And that's correct, there is no snow where Lola is. And good for us, we got a second clue unlocked. Lola is in a place with many pyramids. Now I'm sure most of the adults here know exactly where Lola has traveled. But we're gonna keep on reading, see if we can find out. All right, the first stop is indeed a wonder. Lola is so filled with glee. Making each pyramid was hard work. Let's count, not one, not two, but three. Okay, question time. First question is our who question. Who takes a picture of Lola? Since we're talking about a person, that person is gonna be a man. Check our story. That's that man right there taking that photo of Lola for her. What is on Lola's head? Looking for a thing for our what questions. What's on her head? Check our picture. If you said hat, you got that. Absolutely correct. Next question is our where question. We're talking about a place or location. Where is Lola's backpack? Hmm, not on her back. If we check our picture, we see it is right there next to her or in the sand is also a good answer. And our last yes, no question. Do you see any triangle shapes? Let's check that picture. They're technically pyramids. We're going to go with yes, there are three triangle shapes and good for you. You unlocked another clue. Clue number three, Lola is in a place with big statues. So exciting. Let's see where she, what she sees next. All right. The story says, not so very far away, a statue sits under the skies. A man and lion share one body. Wow, what a sight, Lola cries. All right. Who do you see on the statue? Hmm, looking at that statue, I see a man, his face at least, right? There's a man there. Second, what is on Lola's, what is in Lola's hand? Let's check the picture. If you guys look closely, you can see she's holding something that looks like it's a water bottle. And if you said so, you got that one correct. Where is Lola's camera? Looks like it's right here around her neck. If we say on her neck or around her neck, we got that where question correct. And the last is our yes, no question. Do you see stars in the sky? Now from our smart kiddos, some may say yes because they know the sun is a big star, but for twinkling stars, we're gonna say no. Oh, hello friend, thanks for joining. <laughs> and you can certainly come off mute for any answer you have using your smart brain. Clue number four, Lola is in a place where people use pictures to write long ago. Those pictures are called hieroglyphs. Look at that. Let's keep on reading and learning. Here we go. Lola tilts her head way back. She sees four giants sitting tall. Her eyes light up to find the many things uh, carved in the big rock wall. Look at all those statues. This place she visited is called the Abu Simbel Temples. Lots of statues carved in there. Here's our first question. Who holds a book? Who holds a book? Let's check our picture. Hmm, who is holding that book? I think the answer is not going to be that statue. It's not this woman. Oh, my guess is Lola Koala. Let's see if your guess matches my guess. If it does, you got that right answer. Good for you. Next question. What is in Lola's hand? What's in her hand? Let's check and see. Looks like she's holding, that question one gave us a hint, didn't it? She's holding a book. This picture right here, that's my guess. 
And that's the right answer. Good for you if you had the same guess as me. Our where question asks, where is Lola's water bottle? That water bottle goes with her everywhere, doesn't it? Check that story or that picture. I think I see it right there. It's not under a table. It's actually in her backpack. That's my guess. Let's see if that's the right one. It is. Good answer. Good for you if you had the same answer. And here's our final yes, no question. Do you see a hat in the sand? Let's check our story. I think I spotted it. I think the answer is yes. There's a hat in that sand. Yes, there is a hat in the sand. And good for you. You found another clue. Clue number five says, Lola is in a place with the world's largest, longest river and biggest desert. What continent is that? That's Africa. She's somewhere in Africa. All right, let's see if we can use a, a review where she's traveled so far. Lola loves traveling to new faraway places. Each time she explores a new place, she gets to add a different passport stamp to her passport book. Oh boy, we're gonna help her get one passport stamp from this trip too. So she's traveled to the Pyramids of Giza. She's traveled to the Great Sphinx of Giza and she traveled to the Abu Simbel temples. And Lola's trip was full of fun. There was so much to see and do. Now it's time to pick a stamp. Will you help? She needs you. I hope you guys will help me find out where Lola has gone so we can get her that right passport stamp. Before we pick a stamp, we can guess, right? Use our clues to help us guess. Can you guess where Lola went? You can do it. You're a champ. Take a minute. Think, think, think. Review the clues and choose a stamp. We found five clues when we're reading and answering questions. The first clue was she's in a place with lots of sand. Second, she uh, was in a place with lots of pyramids. Third, she's in a place with lots of statues. Fourth, she's in a place that used to use old pictures or writing to, uh, pictures to write a long time ago. And lastly, this picture here, right? She's in a continent of Africa. The longest river and the largest desert can be found here. So using your smart brain, help me answer this question. Where did Lola Koala travel on this trip? And here's a hint, look closely at the pictures on each stamp for another clue. Did she go to Germany? Did she travel to Panama? Did she travel to Egypt? I see a clue, I see some pyramids there. What do you think? Let's see if your guess matches. <gasps> If you guessed Egypt, that's correct. Egypt is the stamp we want. You followed the clues and now you know. See you on the next adventure. Who knows where Lola Koala will go? Guys, Lola Koala says, great work, Explorer. Grab your passport and join me on the next trip. And that next trip is coming out soon. Book two is coming out very soon. And here's just a recap of fun pictures from her trip. She made a new friend, Jade, in that photo. This camel photobombed her picture <laughs> in front of the Great Pyramid. She took more pictures of the pyramids, the temples, and even the Great Sphinx. She had so much fun. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. I'm going to turn my camera back on. Okay, and you can certainly pick up your own copy of book one in the Lola Koala's Travel Adventures book series by heading to lolakoala.com and clicking on that shop button. Are there any questions about the story or anything else for me? If there are, I'd be happy to answer and chat with you guys. Okie dokie. That's completely fine. You guys can always I do have a question. Oh, sorry. oh sure. Just that. Sure. Good morning. Hi, What's your question? A wonderful story. I was actually looking for something like this for my, my daughter. She's a um, stage three going to stage four um, gestalt 
Gestalt language processor. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if is it too early to introduce the WH questions to her? Do you think she would grasp this book? That's a great question. I can't, of course, answer for sure for her. But what I will say is the way the book is structured um, with the pictures that can be referenced so easily to answer each question, I would never say <laughs> it's too early with my, my design. The book is designed for like kiddos two to about six or seven. I use it with older and younger all the time. Um, and I think that because it's so interactive also, that adds an extra layer of like excitement and learning. So with repeated exposure, I think this will be a great addition um, for sure. I do work with a lot of kiddos um, with autism who tend to be just adult learners uh, as well. And um, they love, they love the book as well. I also have some a hands-on Kit, I'm not sure she likes that kind of stuff that goes with this book that can also be an added layer to support the learning with the WH questions. Um, so long story short, no, I don't think it's too early for her, <laughs> but you can certainly ask your speech pathologist if you're working with one, what their thoughts are also. Perfect, thank you. And do you ship to Canada? I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, perfect, thank you. You're so welcome. <laughs> And thank you, uh, Victoria and Son, uh, for popping in and for sharing that comment. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you, Leslie, for your comment on the format of my book. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Any other comments or questions? Okay. If not, if you guys want to kind of reach out to me at a later point, you certainly can. Um, catch me on or get my information from my website, lolakoala.com and contact me from there. Thank you guys all so much. Enjoy your next reading. Proud. Read black books, read aloud. Get up early and beat the crowd. Read black books, read aloud. Hey, we're mighty proud. Read black books, read aloud. Get up early and beat the crowd. Read black books, read aloud. Presented by the Hurston Wright Foundation.